Well, a group of artists have compiled their sketches on Singapore into a book. It will be launched next month, and 200 copies will be available for free. It's one of 74 initiatives funded by the Singapore Memory Project. Here's a peek between the covers. How does one sketch a memory? About 80 artists reflected on this question when preparing a new book as part of the Singapore Memory Project, which aims to document memories related to Singapore. You really have to think about what you want to sketch. So the place becoming uh, should be more meaningful to you. My husband happened to be from this school, so it is his uh, brother, you know. And when my husband told me the story, as you sketch, right, you can really uh, think about what he said. And he said that there's a very famous statue in front of the uh, building, right? And they say that if you don't study well, you please go there. You know? So where is that there? Everybody is discussing. The finger is pointing at where? You know, that's very exciting. And as a student myself at that time, I come here to buy all the cheap book, you know, the uh, photostatic copy from India, because the original copy was very, very uh, expensive, right? So we come here and then we buy books and then we have a good time. Uh, even there's a very good food street over there with the famous rojak. Artists from hobby group Urban Sketches took two months to draw about 300 places in Singapore. 200 copies of the book will be given out during the launch. They will also be available at all public libraries. Another project is an app that alerts users to interesting stories about certain landmarks here whenever they pass by such places. Called Jalan Jalan App, its creators took more than a year to develop it. It features about 200 landmarks across the island. For instance, the first known occupant of this building was a Dr. Paul. According to newspaper archives, Dr. Paul sold special concoctions to treat asthma, malaria and bronchitis in 1895. And he sold each bottle for 50 cents. The app also has a function for users to submit their stories. The data is shared with the Singapore Memory Project and so far, it's received more than 430,000 submissions. A unique project that's brought up the spirit of giving in Sabah GRC.